Greetings hobbyists, this is Artisans of Vool. In this video we're having a look at the knife tool from Nsolve. So let's start off with probably the most important thing to mention if we go into Nsolve, and that is that the knife tool, which we can find here, is just access to Blender's standard knife tool. Now, don't get me wrong, look, there's a huge volume of other tools that we've got in this add-on, and there's no claim that every single tool is reinventing the wheel, though some of them, like Hard Bevel, are absolutely amazing, as are many of the other tools just for speeding up workflow. But what this does is it means that you can just very quickly access the knife tool. For example, I could just click here and then use shift to snap to the middle of the edge if I wanted to, just as we normally do with the knife tool. Click space and we've got that cut. This is no different to if I was just in any other mode. Let's just cover those edges. If I hit K, I can do exactly the same thing. Click, shift to go to the middle and then shift to go up on the middle and then go here and then do exactly the same thing. It is nothing particularly new. But, and for me, this is a very big but. The convenience of this is that once I've got the knife tool on, it is always on. As opposed to, in fact, let's just come here. If I use the knife tool and then draw from here to here and then confirm, I then have to come all the way across my keyboard to hit K again to get the knife tool back. With the NSOLVE tools, I don't need to do that. I can be happily selecting edges and shift selecting edges or doing anything I want as long as I'm just quickly clicking the keyboard. But anytime I click and hold down for more than a split second, so there, it starts my knife tool. And then I can, again, use whatever functions that I want to use that are part of the knife tool. Go back to selecting things. For example, maybe I want to select there and there and then G to move them. I don't know why I would, but let's just take that as an example. And then I can come back here without having to go to the knife tool, click, drag slightly, and then I've got the knife tool enabled. And let's go to do that all in the middle vertices. It is really helpful just having that there as a tool that's always accessible that I don't need to go across my keyboard to use. And in combination with other features that are part of NSOLVE, like the Dissolve tool, it just speeds up life a lot in terms of what I actually need to be doing or what I want there to be on my mesh. So definitely not groundbreaking, but very useful to have as part of this easy access tool set that keeps perpetually working. And what's especially useful is you can add that knife to part of these menus to be readily available for use. Now I'm gonna do a video actually talking about some of the customizability of NSOLVE and what you can do with it just so that people are aware of how we can change this setup so that it works for you. So if you're interested in that and not subscribed, do hit the subscribe button. Please give the video a like if you found it useful. And if you want to get that ahead of time, my videos are always available a week early on the Patreon, which you can get for a few dollars a month. And that really goes a long way to help supporting the channel. Have a great day, guys.